हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोहन चंदी वी डिकोडेड दिस इज द बिगनिंग ऑफ ऑयल रेक सीरीज वेर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर थ्री वीडियोस इन द प्लेलिस्ट यू कैन सी इन विच आई कवर व्हाट इज एन ऑयल रेक देन विल टॉक अबाउट ऑयल रिक्स का एडवांसमेंट क्या क्या हुआ देन विल कम्पेयर कंपेयर अनदर वीडियो मोहन चंदी विज ऑयल रिक्स एंड वन अदर वीडियो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट ऑल रिक्स दीज थ्री वीडियोज विल आंसर ऑल क्वेरीज विदाउट मिसिंग एनी टाइम लेट जस्ट स्टार्ट तो सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन ये है गाइज कि वॉट इज एन ऑयल रेक and oil rig is a large structure with facilities for drilling into the earth's crust to extract oil or natural gas we all know guys ki oil ya natural gas is the need of the earth petrol chahiye boss crude oil chahiye right so firstly we started extracting oil from where from the land itself digging deep inside pehle there used to be water coming at places right pehle hum dig karte the kuwa pani nikalte the then there were places we thought we thought there will be oil inside like in a sam dig boy then we started getting oil inside the land that was called onshore rigging right onshore oil production then we came to found out later that yaar oil to yahan to hai hai but there are a lot of reserves where in the sea and then we started drilling over there and that is where this importance of oil rigs came in so oil rigs can be offshore offshore means away from the shore right on the sea over here right फ्लोटिंग इन दी ओशन और ऑन शोर बिल्ट ऑन लैंड कॉपिट तो लैंड पे भी है एंड अवे फ्रॉम लैंड इन दी सी एंड ओशन एज यू कैन सी दिस इज ऑन लैंड एंड दिस इज इन दी ओशन सो लेट जस्ट मूव हेड सो नाउ द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ऑयल रेग्स कैन यू सी ओवर द फर्स्ट कमर्शियली सक्सेसफुल ऑयल वेल वॉज बिल्ड इन पेनिसवेलिया यूएसए इन एटीन फिफ्टी नाइन इट वॉज बिल्ड बाई एडविन रेग यूजिंग द स्टीम इंजन टू पावर द ड्रिलिंग रेग एंड रीच अ डेप्थ ऑफ 21 वन मीटर सिक्सटी नाइन फीट अंदर गहरा खोदा और वहां पर तेल निकाला द फर्स्ट वेल इन इंडिया वॉज डग एट दिग बॉय फील्ड दैट इज इन सेम इन सेप्टेम्बर एटीन एटी नाइन जस्ट थर्टी ईयर्स लेटर एट सिक्स सिक्सटी टू फीट मच डीपर इन साइड देन डिस्कवरी एंड एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ ऑयल हैज ट्रांसफॉर्म द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी वी नो दैट एंड पहले हमें जमीन पर मिला एंड देन स्लोली इट वॉज इन द सी सो नाउ वाई डिड ऑफ श्योर ऑयल ड्रिंक्स केम इन एक्सिस्टेंस So we were getting oil in the land. Why offshore? Why into the sea? Because there was increasing demand of oil. You can you know today how much as India we need oil, and that is why we import oil from Russia, Iran, and so many other countries. Increasing demand for oil. Technology advancements happening. Access to deep sea oil. So, एक तो हमें पहले पता चला भी came to know that there is oil in the deep sea, and then we could uh, brainstorm. Uh, get the technology so that we can drill deep inside the sea and get oil from there completion of oil reserves even the oil reserves which were in land were all getting completely dry ho rahe the there was no more oil being seen on the on shore so people were going offshore political and economic factors started in 1897 poor shallow waters first offshore deep water rig in gulf of mexico was the carmack rig number 16 in 1947 The first offshore deep water rig was in 1947. 1974, we just built a drill ship Sagar Samrat strikes oil in Bombay High. So Bombay High, me in 1974, drill ship Sagar Samrat got oil. आगे बढ़ते हैं. So stages of oil and gas we'll see. तो भाई oil rig में होता क्या है? One is upstream oil and gas exploration. What happens over here? First of all, we survey, we find where we can dig, where there is oil inside. Right? Then we start digging. Then we drill. Then we place all the equipments, and then we then we uh, put a platform over here. All the construction is done, and then we start drilling. So this is up upstream oil and gas exploration happening. Now, once the oil has been taken out from the sea bed, then transport and storage is happening. So this oil is stored in the, uh, through pipelines. It is transferred to this uh, storage tanks, and there it is stored and then transferred to. Through these trucks somewhere else, so this is midstream. Then downstream is this oil is this crude oil is then sent to refineries where it is separated into aviation oil, petrol, diesel, kerosene. After refining, then it is sent to distribution. So this is downstream. So this is of these are the stages of oil and gas. So now types of offshore oil rigs. So can you see this is water and this is the seabed over here. So. The first time we found oil, it was over here in the shallow waters. So this is a drilling barge operates in shallow waters. Let me dig deep, dig deep, dig. This is a jack up rig operates at water depths of 400, 500 feet. This is 500 feet. So this is jacked up over here, and then this oil rig is digging, digging, digging deep inside the seabed and 
taking out oil. This is semi-submersible. These are gone. Now it is semi-submersible. Operates at water depth up to 10,000 feet. Can you see over here? And this is the one in demand today. 10,000 meter, 12,000 feet inside over here. Operates at water up, up to depths of 12,000 feet. Can you see? This is a drill ship. Stable out here. Let's move ahead. Components of an oil rig. Derrick is there. Crane is there. Drill floor. Main deck. Helipad. Accommodation where people live. Column. Survival capsule. In case you want to leave. Hull. Drilling draft. Now I am not going to go into detail. Ki bhai, crane ka kya kaam hai. Derrick ka kya kaam hai. Drilling draft ka kya kaam hai. Maybe in some other video. Let's move ahead. Advantages of offshore oil rigs. That is rigs in the sea. Increased oil production through deep sea oil reserves. There were a lot of deep sea oil reserves. Production or burger. Demand was there. Supply was there. Improved safety. This includes improved equipments, better training and stricter regulations. Now, it is in sea. One small mistake. Where will people go? Fire, explosion, environmental problems, right? Pollution out here. So, safety standards increase like anything. This is what has happened. Process of offshore oil drilling. So, first is site preparation. First is doing a survey, checking whether by if we are drilling, we are spending so much money, whether we will find oil or not. So the site preparation is done. Then after that drilling the well. So we, we know now this is the place we have to drill. Then a drilling rig comes and the drilling starts. Once we have reached the oil level, then inside these hollow wells, we put pipes inside and those gaps between the pipes and the wells or the wall of the wells, their cementing is put so that there is no leakage taking place and they have support all the time. Then after that, Everything, all the equipments are put so that the well is completed. Now we can start production and then we start exploring or taking out oil from the seabed into the oil rig and from there Jai Matadi. Okay, now it's challenges in offshore oil rigs. Harsh weather, lot of cost involved. It is not easy. Can you see the weather out here? Look, environmental risks. Oil pollution can happen like this. Explosions like this. Can you see over here? This is not an easy job. Limited access to resources and personnel. Far away at deep sea. Huh? Right? Need to stay at one place. No matter if you have started rigging, drilling, everything. Then you have to be at one place no matter how the weather is outside. And that's a challenge. Aage badte. Environmental impacts. You can see this deep water has an oil spill in 2010. There's a movie on it in Netflix. Watch that movie. It happened in Gulf of Mexico. Pollution of sea water can happen. Harming sea creatures. Ruining beaches, climate change, everything happens. Can you see over here? Kitna dhua nikal rahe, boss? Not just one, there are many. Another is Piper Alpha Platform, 6 July 1988. BHN Platform, Mumbai High, 25th July 2005. Can you see? So this is not easy life, guys. Key safety procedures that are typically followed in offshore oil rigs. PPE is important. You can see this PPE wearing. A lot of pressurized pipelines are over. One small mistake and you can get injured. Or you, it can be fatal as well. Safety trainings, lot of safety trainings are provided. Emergency response plan is there. Ki bhai, if there is an emergency, what will you do? You are trained that way. Regular inspections of the drill, whether the drill is in right condition or not. All the safety procedures are being followed. The standards are right or not. And lastly, medical fitness and facilities. So medical fitness of all the people working and the facilities for the people working there, right? This is important. Last but not the least, this is just the first video. Watch the other videos to know more about oil rigs and deep sea exploration. Thank you very much. Jai Mata.